Hey, I'm Lauren Jackson, and this is my testimony of how I met Jesus Christ. I was raised in a Christian home, but I never knew what it was like to have like a real relationship with Jesus. And then like growing up with an unhappy childhood and going through a traumatic event, I was just like really broken as a kid. So in middle school, I started getting gender dysphoria. I came out as trans in eighth grade. I, I was really young, but like it was definitely there. I used to write in my journal about how miserable I was from it. And then um, that same year, I became an atheist and just a lot of things just changed in my life. Like I lost my best friend, our parents ended our friendship. And after that, like my mental health just got really bad. Like I was, I fell into like a deep depression over the next few months. Um, just really felt like no one cared about me. Like I wasn't seen and just was very lonely at that time. And then I found out my parents were making me go to a Christian school, which I wasn't happy about that. I obviously like wasn't a Christian, but God was still chasing after me through all of that. So December 2017, I was just ready to stop living. Like I'd been suicidal, but I was scared to kill myself like then because by then I kind of believed in heaven and hell. And it was like, okay, I just had like a gut feeling that I knew that I was going to hell. And so I was just like running out of options. So I was just like, God, if you're real, can you just like come and help me and like heal me and then I'll serve you forever. And I was just kind of going out on a limb there and taking like a step of faith, honestly, that's what it was. And then immediately, like I just got like a subtle feeling of just like peace. And I had been like, I knew it was supernatural cause I'd been like in a deep like depression for over a year and a half. And I also just had like no rest, like I was always tormented. The next three months, I was just like, kind of continuing to just kind of trust God and believe in Him. And then I got a lot of healing, like, so by March 2018, I was like, okay, I'm all in, <laughs> like I'm ready to like give my life to God. And so I did. Um, I was still struggling with dysphoria at the time. I didn't give that up immediately. It was like after, it was like when I gave my life to God, I was like, okay, God, I don't know like what to do with this, but um, I don't know, I can't change. I don't think I can change, but if you want me to like, if this is like wrong, then like make a way for me to overcome this and like change me. And then I actually literally got healed from dysphoria over the course of 2018. I transitioned back over in January, 2019. And then, but then like, I'm not gonna lie, like I was struggling a lot like in my Christian walk for like a very long time, even after getting saved. But God is so good, like he showed me about deliverance. I didn't know Christians could have demons. And so I started getting like demons cast out, delivered, and including depression, like um, he did heal me some from depression. Like after those first three months, like did get a lot of healing, continued to get some healing, but I still had the spirit there and then I had it cast out and then I literally haven't, like the enemy still attacks me. I still have feelings, but I haven't had like that depression, like that spirit of depression, like it's left. I just want to continue to like grow in my relationship with him and like, just know him more and also be him use me to help people and to advance the kingdom of God.